Hey, Stefan. Hey, uh, hi, Nick. Uh, uh, so you came in, uh, found me in the hall, and uh, told me about this new keyboard, right, yeah. keyboard modification system yes. you have, right? So hello, people. My name is Stepan Vořáček. I come from Prague, and I'm here for the second time at the Super Booth. And uh, I just run a single-person startup in Prague in Czech Republic. Uh -huh. So let me show you some of the prog products I've been working on. So one of them, I call it just keyboard, and this is like basic uh, Fatar TP9S keyboard, as you know it. Uh, but what's special about it, it's full MP. So as you can see, this is not aftertouch, this is like sensing the whole range, uh, range of motion of the key. And so what I offer, for example, you have OB6, the keyboard version. So what I do, I just replace the PCBs retrofit them with my kind of technology and uh, then you got it and you can also use it as an MP control via MIDI out and I do not touch the electronics inside the like the synth engine I just replace the PCBs on the on the on the and so how, but so how does the how does the MP so the the, I'm sorry? the instrument has to be MPE capable uh, yeah, yes yeah it's best when the instrument is MPE cam, uh, compatible but uh, uh, yeah, it's the best, but uh, it also works via MIDI out, and you can gain some uh, some advantage via having like the pressure all the way from the top, even if it's not MP. But yeah. So you're thinking do. about maybe doing your own standalone controller yeah, as well? Yeah, I'm already working on it, I'm not and uh, yeah, you can see it's very sensitive all the way from the top. So yeah. So but how if it doesn't integrate with the the synthesizer? How do you? adjust the, the uh, touch curves and... Yeah, uh, so there is like USB-C port and you configure it via web MIDI with the, with the configuration. All right, just so how you yeah, want, so how you you want you to do it. So you can have like your own uh, responsive curves and everything, oh, neat. what have you. Yeah. So something like this, what would what would it cost to kind of replace? Yeah, so it's like uh, one octave costs like 100 euros, so let's say like 400 or 500 per like standard keyboard. Right, okay. And I guess you have to sort of, it's quite a handmade process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you are uh, like handy enough, I am more than happy to just provide the PCBs, but I can uh, do it myself, which is the best. So yeah, it's best for European companies uh, or like uh, customers right now, but yeah. <laughs> So we'll I guess, see what happens. I, I guess you want to try and get in some way of getting yeah. it built into. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and, and also, like I want to uh, use the Fatar with my technology as always, uh, like my yeah, yeah, yeah. standalone controller. So is it just an MPE thing, or is there a primary? Yeah, and so secondary that's another touch? thing I'm working on. I've been dis discussing with some customers that I would include a configurable like silicon strip. Which would act as a like a barrier, like like the aftertouch, which would uh, select uh, like the different kind of pressure through the motion, and you could have like different CC based on like oh, okay. how hard you press it. But this is just regular. This have you got just, this? This is yeah, just a USB this is just, MIDI. This yeah, is just MIDI. Uh, like regular uh, Fatar as we know it, and yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right. And people can order this now from you, can they? Yeah, so uh, right now it's built in small batches and I, I am just uh, working on the, the P, like uh, next version of the PCBs. But uh, but yeah, you can join the ma mailing list or just drop me a message and I'll put you on. Excellent, okay. And what else are you sharing? All right, so let me show you oh, I'm the this, tiny bo this is tiny box, but it's very powerful. So... Uh, I call it SynthMate and it pairs up really well with any MIDI equipped synthesizer. On the opposing side of the cable, there's just two MIDI jacks like in and out. It's plugged straight into the synthesizer and it's powered uh, via the MIDI out, via the tiny current inside the MIDI All out. Right, okay. Because there's like a so power efficient uh, microcontrol that it can do it. And it does two, two things. It basically has like mode control mode and uh, automation. So with automation, you just go into a automation mode and uh, you wiggle, let's say you want to filter cut off automate, you just wiggle the knob and when you enter the knob, you record the automation. When you release the note, it stops recording and then it lets you place it back like infinitely, like LFO ah, or okay. like envelope. Is, is, is it working? Can you, can you yeah, show? Yeah, so uh, we are just working on some bug fixes. So okay. this is just, just for the show, but so. it's going to be ready for Christmas, definitely. Okay. The, the PCBs are ready. And the other mode, I call it 
mode control and it, is, it lets you remap like pitch band, mod wheel to any destination. So this is like easy stuff, you can do it inside a door, but it's all like doorless, like hardware. So what does the knob do? Yeah, and the knob is for extra features like MIDI looper or like Euclidean sequencer, generative stuff, oh, just right. weird okay. stuff like that. Yeah, so, so you could just program the kind of, yeah, uh, it's yeah, like yeah. a little It's peacock. all open source, so yeah, if you are handy, you can reprogram it. And how much are you hoping to sell this yeah, for? Yeah, so it's going to be no more than 100 euros. Right, okay. Interesting. This, watch out, this, this Christmas it should be available. Okay, yeah. excellent. And I see you've got some pedals as well. All right. So this is the third thing I am working on. This is like really prototype, but it's MPE. Uh, MIDI, MIDI pedal board, it's all wireless MIDI, battery power, there's gonna be a built-in battery, and it's all pressure-based uh, MPE controller. But uh, it's also great if you are like a guitar player because you can uh, switch it to control mode and use the different keys to trigger different functions, so yeah. And I guess this is prototype, so... Yeah, uh, this is a prototype, it's just a MIDI controller, but yeah, people are very excited about it. Excellent. And have you got any idea when this is going to be available? Yeah, so I have uh, the first batch of five pieces, it's already like sold out. And uh, yeah, it's going to be built in uh, ba batches and I can do modification based on uh, like well, the requests wants, right. of the customer. It's going to be, uh, it's like 2K. Right, so uh, I say, yeah. But it depends on the configuration, okay. on the range, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, so thank you, Nick.